Hello everyone, this is Harsh and you are watching WPF World. Welcome to another series of WPF tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discussing the difference between level and text box control in WPF. These two controls are often used to display text in WPF application. But they have some key differences that you should be aware of when deciding which one to use in your projects. So without wasting time, let's get started. First, let's take a look at level control. The level control is used to display a single line of text that is typically associated with another control, such as text box or a button. The level control is often used to provide a description or a prompt for the user. The level control is also typically used to display static text and can't be used for editing text. Now let's see with an example. I will remove this. Here I will use the stack panel. Now to define the level we have to use the level and here you can write the text for the level. We have to use the content here. I will write this is level control and you can close it here. Now let's run and see. See, this is a level control, right? This is how we can use the level control. On the other hand, the text block control is used to display multiple lines of text. It's more flexible than the level control and can be used to display formatted text such as bold or italic text. The text block control also supports text wrapping, making it a great choice for displaying longer piece of text. Now let's see with an example. Now to use the text block, we have to use the text block here. So the text, we can use the text property and here we can say this is text block control. Now let's run and see. See, this is text block control. Now let's see the difference. What I will do now, I will remove this from here and I will write like this. This will work here, right? We can also show the text like this using the level control. Let's see. See. Now let's run and see. This is working fine, right? Now what I will do, I will make it bold. I want to make the control bold. So I will say bold. Okay. And here I will say. Okay. But if you want to do this from level control, it will not work. See. We can see the error. The property content is set more than once, right? So we cannot do this thing from the level, means we cannot change the formatting of the text. So let's remove it and let's run and see. If you see, now the text block is bold, right? You can also use the italic. How to use it? I can say italic. Now let's run and see. The text block should be italic and bold. See, this is how we can format this. This is how we can format text block text. In text block, we can also specify the text wrapping. Here I will say wrap with overflow. Okay. Once the text is overflow from the window, then it will wrap to the next line. But we cannot do from the level control. See, this is not supported here, right? Now let's run and see. I will decrease the size. See. If you can see here, text is overflow from the window, that's why it came to the next line, right? Now I hope you learn the difference between the level and text block control. So when deciding which control to use in your projects, consider the requirement of the application. If you only need to display a single line of text, the level control may be the better choice. However, if you need to display multiple line of text or text with different formatting, the text block control may be better choice. That's all for this tutorial. We hope you found this information helpful. Be sure to check out our other WPF tutorial for more information on how to use this and other control in your application. If you found this video helpful, let's share with your friends.